Hi friends. Well, I was just getting ready to lay down. It is 2.10 a.m. That's a nice time to lay down. Uh, I didn't know that I'd be recording a journal instead. Um, interesting goings on. Kim Jong-il has crossed over. That's interesting. He was an icon and uh, no one is there to step into his shoes. His son um, is the presumed new leader, I guess. Who knows? That's, uh, that's really interesting, but it affects the balance of light on the planet when someone uh, that is so dark and repressive is no longer counted among the living. So let us say prayers for North Korea that all goes well there. And uh, bad news I guess for the Kyoto protocols. Can't say I'm sad about that. Go Canada! <laughs> Back and out. Okay so I have another journal that's like from the 8th that I've been wanting to share, but I just wrote this one tonight. And so um, I think it's the one to share with you right now. Um, it's called Acceptance is Magical, Don't Fight Life. And I'll gripe about it but it was written at 12.59 a.m. So we're calling this a new day even though it's so clearly in the middle of the night. Once I figure out a way to get around that, um, I'll do it, but for now, okay, 12.19 Mayan day, it's an Ascension day, 13, I think it's probably 13 road, but I don't know. I'll look it up later. Alright, here we go. Boy, do I ever feel down. This is such an odd place for me to be in too. I'm not used to it anymore. Sure, I used to be depressed quite a lot. I was that way for years without ever knowing it. Uh, with my daughter in counseling though, it began to dawn. I was depressed and it was a shock. Well, then followed years on the antidepressive pills, many years. Sure, the meds helped. I'd been down without knowing it, knowing to call it that for so long. And it was rather nice to, to get some relief, some emotional support, sort of. Still, I'm just not a pill taker. And it wasn't long before I rebelled. I began to try to wean myself off. But hey, getting off those things is the dickens. Again and again I'd try, but then I'd find myself breaking out into tears for no reason that I was aware of. Well, you know, I just figured I still needed the pills. It took a long time. I don't know what made it happen, why at some point gosh, after 10 or 12 years, it was suddenly right, suddenly doable when it hadn't been before. I really don't know. Anyway, it's been about 10 years or so now since I've been off of them, and I'm glad, or since I've been on them. There's no way I'd consider medicating for this again. No way. It's all natural for me now. So, sometimes, I guess we just feel depressed and there's no telling why what it could be and really does it matter? The reality is that if we wait a while it'll pass. Change is the one constant we can count on in this crazy realm. Well thank God for that. I rather like it. It helps us let go and stay free once we tune into it to this constant change that's how I see it anyway. No use hanging on, clinging to something, to anything. Soon enough it'll be gone. Go with the flow. 
it's really been a time of letting go, hasn't it? It has been for me for some years, decades in fact. It started out slowly though. It didn't gain momentum to be really noticeable until the last several years. Now it's just plain inescapable. Like I said, though, it's helping me with my path, which is one of letting go anyway. This is no time to be some clinging vine. Well, not if you want to ascend. Part of what's got me down is this massive bunch of lies and deceit that's somehow called modern life. Every which way you look, there it is. There's so little truth here, it's practically invisible. What there is, well, that can be found in, in Mother Nature and her creatures, her creations. The world of man, it's for the birds. It's about worthless in some ways. This thing of taking our power back, that isn't easy. We have vested trust in so many things and none of them are trustworthy at all. It's disgusting. It really is. A big part of waking up is waking up to the dark side of things. That part we played hide-and-go-seek with for so long, touching down on the dark side ourselves in any number of other lifetimes. Oh yeah, that's part of what pulls us down too those lives that we're leading right now that are dark. Come on, don't forget that all time is just now, is just here. Simultaneous. All there really is or ever will be is just now. Get used to it. And no, mine can't adapt to that. Mine doesn't have to. This is hard. We're going home. And this is of home. Balance, that's what we seek. That's a good answer that will stop so much hurting. We're out of balance, and that's the cause of much pain. Life works so hard to bring us just what we need in each moment of this now. She brings us the very vision, the very thing that will show us just where and how we're out of balance. She brings the cure, but so often we don't see it because we're so full of wrong ideas, attitudes, and beliefs. What a mess. Oh well, it is what it is. At least it has that going for it best for us to just have a good look and accept. Acceptance is nice. It's the open door into so much, so much that is closed off to us until we can simply accept that which is. So, I accept this depression. I sit with it. I cry a few tears get mad a little bit. Even so, and during all of this, I also watch and observe what's going on within. I'm alert for what the inner self has to say and to show, <laughs> show and tell, so to speak. Yeah, it's that. Just got to have them baby blues open and paying attention, the inner ones. The outer ones, not so much. Our answers aren't out in the world. Well, I mean, they are, but they aren't. The hints, the indicators, the pointers, as Eckhart would say, are there. But that's the mirror, remember? It isn't the real deal, the origin of our troubles. That's within. Always, always within. That is, if we want to make any real change. Medicating the pimple on the mirror is pretty useless, messy too, though that's what most of mankind is intent on doing just about all the time. Oh well, that's what is as well. Let it be. 
It's not up to you or to me to fix anything out there. I keep reminding myself the issues are within. Within are the answers, too. The inner kingdom is the real place. Everything else, the mirage. So finally, there becomes no one and nothing to trust. Even when I want to trust a new thing, a new site, a new YouTube voice, I find I just can't. For all those higher dimensional beings, the ones who haven't been in 3D for a while, if at all, they can just keep their advice to themselves at times like this. I don't want any of it. 3D scars you. Did you notice? <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, what can I say? I guess I feel scarred right about now. It's just so darn painful being all asunder like we must be to do a tour of duty here. No full memory, heck, no full mind, but rather one that's piecemeal, broken up into unconscious, subconscious, and so on. What a friggin' mess. <laughs> it can be so hard. You want to cooperate. You know you've got lots of spiritual help standing by at the ready. Yet, sometimes, you just can't draw yourself to it. Can't be cooperative and cheerful and all the rest. Well, my friends, that's okay. Did you know that? I hope you haven't been beating yourself up for this sort of thing. This, too, is a part of the balance seeking to reassert itself. <laughs> I wrote re-exert itself. New word, huh? Can we see this? Can we just let it be? Sure, it's hard. But we want to think we're better than this. Sure, we don't want to feel like this. Well, so what? We do, right? Can we accept that? Can we just let it in? Let it be? Sure, we can. Will we? That's the real question. This, too, has something in it for us. This, too, is a blessing, a benefit, albeit in disguise. It's hiding under the guise, in this case, of depression. Let's not be so quick to kick it out. If we put on a false, cheery face, that's no good, and we know it. It's phony. It's false. If we have people around us who expect us to be cheerful and nice all the time, well, in a way, too bad for them. They may lead plastic lives and be willing to be phony and unreal. That's not for us. Now, I'm not saying be a grouch and be nasty and disrespectful. You just don't feel like you have to be cheerful, that's all. So, you see, we can be down in an up sort of way as well. Do you see it? We're down, but we're not so identified with it that it owns us. We've got some breathing space if we'll just quit fighting so hard. It's the fighting more than the difficult states themselves that works against us. We're really just fighting ourselves, fighting our own higher good. So let's open those baby blues. Let's be willing to take another look at it, whatever it is, even depression. Just be with it. Give it acceptance. Let it be. Surrender and let go of all the fighting against what simply is. If it goes against your image of who you think you are, let that image go. Let it be. If you can do this, one day you'll be so glad you did. It will or it can open up a whole new way of life for you. Now, that doesn't mean you'll never be depressed, 
sad or angry again or that you won't experience pain. You will. It's a part of 3D life. Can you accept that? Can you develop another self-image? This one that allows you to not fight with reality? See yourself as someone who is very good at just going with the flow. You are, you know. Nor maybe you don't know just yet. You are whatever you want to be. However you choose to see yourself, you get to be that, if you like. It's a choice, always a choice. We don't get to choose the things that come our way in life. Over that, the collective mind has a big say, along with so many other influences. Yet, our attitude, how we respond to life, what we think of it, this we do own, and this we have charge over, we can change. It all starts with a vision change, at least for me. When I choose to look at either self or life from a different angle or perspective, that starts it. That gets the ball rolling in a whole different way. I like it. I like the great, oh, it's almost an infinite freedom. It may seem like we have so little room in which to change. Well, accept it. If that's what it seems to be, fine. Accept that. Go with it. Make what change you can see to make in how you see things. Be real with it. Always follow your bliss. It'll lead you. It'll lead you right. Don't accept someone's word for anything. Your heart knows better than anyone. Follow that. Acceptance is magic, my friends. It's not giving up. That's what mind wants to think because mind wants to be in charge. Whenever you self-criticize, it's mind doing that. Whenever there's fear, look to mind for that too. If you get good at the watch and observe thing, you'll find it's pretty much always mind that's making whatever trouble is up there for you. Check it out. Acceptance is magic. Why? Because in acceptance, we choose not to fight life. This is huge. In this one move, we can potentially make the move from head to heart. Just start accepting what is. It's right there in front of you. Look for how often you find yourself engaged in fighting life, in fighting what is. All griping is fighting life. Now I could go on and on about the ways we fight life, but why? It's not needed. We all know. And there's no need to soil the page by dragging muddy boots all over it that way. Besides, you get to watch and observe and see for yourself. Acceptance is magic. <laughs> Guess I just got the title for this one. In acceptance is the magic secret. Without this acceptance, without us giving up fighting life, we simply aren't prepared to take the next step. So we can go through our whole life and if we don't move into this acceptance, we're just blocking our own development. Our vision must change. But how can it change when we're engaged in all of this fighting? Simple, it can't. But once we begin to offer acceptance to what is, once we stop the constant fight, only then can our vision 
make the next shift. What is that? It's time to begin to see all life, our whole life, in a completely new way. If you're open to this, instead of something that's full of pain and difficulties with a very little pleasure thrown in, drop that view. Just let it go completely. It's bunkum. It's part of our programming. If you can back off enough, you, you'll begin to see that. No, life is actually in love with you. Try that on. It's been seeking to serve you all along. But with your eyes tight shut, with your vision not open to that, you couldn't see it. Heck, it couldn't even enter your mind as a possibility. Not as long as you see life as something to fight. Now, I could also go on and on about the wondrous ways life serves you in every minute. But maybe I still feel a bit too down for that. I don't know. Anyway, I am very familiar with it. It's what helps me accept things. Every serendipity is another example set there for you to see what we don't realize simply because our vision isn't yet expanded sufficiently to see it is that in every second life is doing that life is serving us as the best lover the best friend the best servant we ever had or could have it's truly miraculous what life is, my friends. I kid you not. We have been so lied to and bruised and battered by the ways we've taken life, by what we thought it was, and that's all just pure rot. We've been chasing our own tail. No such thing. Look again. That's all I can say right now. Look again. Open your eyes of heart. Clean the screen of those eyes. Give your vision a good squeegee wash. Now, this is after you've decided that acceptance is a very good thing, of course. Until then, you'd be doing nothing but being double-minded if you set out to see this way. I guess I've got to admit that some things just have to come before other ones, even though that seems pretty linear. Oh well, there's benefit in everything, even being linear at times. To say otherwise is just to be prejudiced, right? Do you see? Okay then, see you soon. And... Good night.